Hey there guys, uh, welcome back to Martin Harmon Art TV. Today we're in Curiosity Gallery. But yeah, well, welcome back. Welcome back to the space <laughs> with some new artworks. In today's video, I'd like to talk about how to clean an abstract ceramic sculpture uh, like these pieces here. So let's get to it. So if you're new to this channel, this channel is about sharing my passion and journey as an artist, as an abstract artist. And um, it's basically a way for me just to record this journey, uh, my experiences, what I've learned, my artworks, and all that kind of good stuff. So you're welcome to join me on this channel. So yeah, as you can see, this video is gonna be all about how to clean abstract sculpture. Um, and you know, I. I I thought I'd just mention I use kind of I use my way of doing it, which is the techniques that I've learned and what I felt is appropriate for my needs of you know cleaning an abstract ceramic sculpture. But there are other uh, other methods out there that you can use, and I research those things online, and I've also included it in this video. Uh, so hopefully that helps as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I clean uh, my sculptures, uh, the method that I use. And I'm just using these plastic gloves and I'll try and put the information in the description below. But I'm just using these plastic gloves uh, just so I don't get any marks on the piece. I've got this soapy water and I haven't put too much uh, soap. So I've just used, you know, just just standard washing up liquid, but I haven't put too much in. Um, I've just kept it quite light. And then I've got this sponge, and you can you, know, you can use any old, any old sponge, but just as long as it's not too old, because some of the pieces might tear off and get stuck to the piece. So this is just our standard kitchen sponge. And I've also got this, just a towel, just to dry off the piece. I'm just gonna soak that in water. And I mean, as you can see, uh, this sculpture is glazed on the outside, matte glaze on the inside. So that's another thing to consider. So if your sculpture is glazed on the outside and then unglazed on the inside, you'll need to be aware of how you clean those surfaces. So like, if I wanna clean this matte surface, I just usually just use a damp sponge and just and just do that really. Just yeah, then we call it like compress <laughs> on the surface. But I'm not you know I'm not kind of doing that because I might pick up like it might deteriorate the sponge and put bits of the sponge onto the surface. So I'm just doing that really. I'm just kind of pressing down lightly on the surface. And so that's what you can do to clean a matte surface. Um, and then, but also you just need to bear in mind uh, the, what, you know, the, the texture of the piece. Yeah, so that's, you know, so, you know, so this is, this is good if, if the piece is quite dusty. And it just needs a good clean. And you can also just use the same sponge to do the surface, to do the glaze, to, you know, to clean off any dust on the glaze and just use the same sponge. So that's, that's pretty much what I do for these pieces. So it's not, it's not right, really complicated. And then afterwards I can just use this, this towel, clean towel, just to dry it off. And I don't know, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really recommend using the towel to dry off the, the matte surface on the inside uh, because you might pick up some uh, you might pick up some bits from the towel because the matte surface is going to be rough and textured compared to the, the glaze surface. So the towels are like the glaze surface just to wipe off any moisture. Um, but for the textured surface, um, I'd probably just leave it to dry. And so that's why, um, 
And that's why I showed you uh, just gently, uh, just gently prodding the the inside of the textured piece with the damp, with a damp sponge, but you know, not try not to get it too too wet. That's that's how I go about just cleaning my abstract ceramic sculptures. And um, again, it all depends on what kind of sculpture you have, uh, what kind of size, whether it's textured, smooth. That's something to bear in mind, but that's the technique I use. It's quite simple. Um, but there are also other techniques you can use. Um, you could, you know, if you just wanted to dust off the piece, you could just use um, like a feather duster and just use that to dust off the piece. Some people can use like a makeup brush. So you have a makeup brush because it's a really soft brush. You can also use that to dust off the piece. Yeah, so a big, um, a big point to remember is just don't use any uh, strong cleaning chemicals um, and um, because that might have like a corrosive or a negative effect on the piece. Um, so best just to use the you know, light like soapy water uh, if you're washing the piece. Um, some people say you can even use compressed air, so I don't know if you had like some kind of air gun uh, and the piece was really dusty, maybe you could use that to kind of blow away dust in any kind of uh, gaps that are really difficult to clean. Yes, yeah, so those are some, some extra points that I put on, the li on this list that I researched online. Um, so there's, there's, there's different ways of, of cleaning sculpture really. Um, but I think I think the number one takeaway for me is just to use a soft um, a soft cloth, you know, like a soft clean sponge, relatively new, and then a clean towel. Um, and I find that just works really well because, yeah, like I said earlier, you just don't want to use anything, any materials that's going to deteriorate and kind of leave its trace on the piece because you'd be cleaning it and then making it dirty at the same time. So that those, are the, those are my key points really about how to clean abstract ceramic sculpture. But maybe you know of another technique that uh, can be used, which I haven't mentioned in this video. So feel free to, to let me know in the comments below because maybe I've missed something but that's my basic way of doing it and um, just to keep it simple and I find it really helps. But you know, when, when, how often she you clean the pieces? Um, depending, you know, if, uh, if they've been sitting around for six months and you see dust on them, then it's a good, good opportunity to keep them a good clean. And you know, and just in terms, and you know, and that will help just, I guess, just keep the pieces looking fresh, presentable, and obviously when displaying sculptures you'll need to be careful about where you place them in the home so that they don't get knocked easily and um, because you want them to you know survive for a long time. Um, so anyway that's that's a wrap for this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some kind of insight into how to clean because I couldn't find a lot of information about this online, so it would be a good opportunity to talk about it further. Um, but yeah, if you've um, if you like this video, feel free to like it. And um, you're welcome to check out my Patreon channel if you get exclusive content and you'll get to see these videos first before they go public and all that good stuff, so I'll put that in the link below. Um, so anyway, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Um, so take care of yourself, bye-bye.